Well, the, the new thing is uh, very, very angry young men um, trying to pretend that the Star Wars prequels are good. I've heard something about that. Is it time to look at the, well, the prequels sh- yeah, again? Yeah, the, the oh. sequels, because the sequels are so bad, they're the worst thing in the world. Um, therefore, it makes the prequels good. I can't believe it. I haven't actually watched the last, the well, you last don't, one yet. Uh, yeah, but, but I mean, I how, thought the how, first, the first two had, you know, it was all right. The first one, I thought, okay, the first one was I all right. Yeah. With that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, even if the story's crap or whatever, they're well-made films. Yeah. You know, they look like Star Wars. I <laughs> can't say the story's crap because if that story's crap, then A New Hope, Return of the Jedi, and Empire Strikes Back are crap. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it goes completely off the rails after that. But yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why the first episode seven is just fine. But yeah, there's this video of, of this guy. What he's doing is trying to pick apart the videos, picking apart the prequels. Yeah. But he, he just skips bits <laughs> and tries to just choose the easy easy target bits. And yeah. But so the video was whatever it was. But the the, the basically he's twenty four hour twenty four seven on the comments, and he's deleting anyone who disagrees with him. Well, you've got to wonder, haven't you? Sort of the kids for that for the people that that was their introduction to Star Wars makes you wonder. Do the you know is is their experience of it completely different to ours? Well, if you were four when it came out, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I mean, it's, they're really long and boring. Yeah, <laughs> so you know. Well, put it this way: Jack and Jenny, yeah, they tried to watch A New Hope. Empire Strikes Back, and they thought it was really funny because it had puppets in it and stuff like that. Oh, I see. So how old are they? That's it. Then I think they're really young. You know, they're like thirty-one-ish, thirty, just just past thirty. Is that's not that young? <laughs> that's not different. It's a lot younger than me. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's Star Wars. It's for kids. It's puppets. <laughs> we did a quiz yesterday uh, with them. And they were really impressed that I knew the name of the cafe owner in Hello Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I think knowing his second name is more of a, you know, Artois. Yeah. That's better. I also got the name of the building in Die Hard, and they were really impressed with that as well. I can't remember Die Hard. You know, it's been that, Kev. It, you, I wouldn't ne- I'd never get that. Never. You big guy, yay! Kim Musabi. You know, I can remember who's in it. It's that guy, the bald guy. I can't remember his name. You know, that's that's Die Hard. But, um, but yeah, uh, uh, the thing with the Star Wars prequels is that they are, in terms of st- the standard gauge of filmmaking, badly made. In in the direction and the dialogue, the lighted, light, light, the badly light, badly lit. You know, all of that. It, they are terrible. Everything, <laughs> yeah, everything, everything is terrible. Is, you know, the, every uh, dialogue scene is the same. It's just two people, and sometimes they're sitting down, and then they, one of them stands up and walks over, and then you always have it's it's just a shot of one of them, and then a shot of the other one, and, a shot of, and they might be walking along, and it's always you, you realise all the talking scenes are the same, and they're just in between the action bits, the CGI stuff. That's that's how bad it is. What a letdown that was, man. I know, it was so exciting, wasn't it? When the is it yeah. a new Star Wars film? Oh my god! Episode one, it might be the biggest film ever made. It might outsell, outsell Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> it was just really bad, really bad. You got his oh. P- Peter Serafinowicz's uh, response to it when he went to see it is 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 awesome. Because <laughs> he did Darth Maul. Yeah, he's got one line of dialogue in it, hasn't he? Yeah, there's one line of dialogue. <laughs> It doesn't say anything else because it's not a character. It's just a red face with a, with <laughs> a double lightsaber around. that does some dancing. There's, there's, a, there's a test you can do where you say, okay, uh, okay, without talking about their role in the film or what they look like, tell me about the character of this character. So you can say Han Solo. That people say, oh, he's, he's a he's a vagabond, he's a rogue, he's whatever, yeah. Or C three PO, he's he's whatever he is, you know. And then you say. Uh, Princess Amadella. She doesn't have a character. <laughs> it's just nothing, nothing there. You know. Oh God, yeah. Qui Gon Jinn. Nothing, 
no, there's nothing there. They're not so carrying many good it. actors in that series. Like, yeah. I mean, you got Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Doing nothing. Saying lines. <laughs> obviously, the best one is the Emperor, the guy who plays the Emperor. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, the Emperor's great. I did get the feeling, though, in the new one, that's not the Emperor. I didn't expect it until I saw the film. I thought, oh, uh, that's okay, not have you given stuff away now? I haven't seen it. Yeah, but you know the Emperor's in it. Everybody knows that. Oh, okay, you didn't know that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, honestly. You'll realise when you see the film, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. Star well, Wars doesn't I'll matter. Watch it. 